Welcome to AI Car Talk Show. You know, uh, when you think about the first car in Africa, where do you think it landed? Hmm, I don't know. That's a good question. Well, it was South Africa back in 1896. Wow, that's earlier than I would have thought. Yeah, and speaking of South Africa today, we're looking at a car that's really making waves there. The BMW X3. Ah, yeah, the X3 is coming right out of BMW Group Plant Rosslyn. My Plant Rosslyn that's been a big part of South Africa's car scene for quite a while. Oh, yeah, for a long time. But this new X3, it's like it's putting the plant on the map in a whole new way. And on today's AI Car Talk show, we're going to really dig into why this car is such a big deal. You know how it's selling like crazy, both in South Africa and around the world, mm -hmm. how it's boosting BMW's growth and the impact it's having on South Africa's economy. But first, let's talk about, you know, what makes this X3 so special? I mean, it launched back in October 2022. Right. And the sales have been incredible. Oh, yeah. It's been a hit from the start. What's interesting to me, though, is the split between buyers. You've got people going for the you know, traditional gas engine, the ICE. Yeah. And then a bunch of people are choosing the plug-in hybrid, the PHEV. Right. Which means they can plug it into charge, but it also has a regular gas engine. So almost 10% of the X3s they're selling are PHEVs. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. It really shows you how much interest there is in electric vehicles these days. Definitely. And, you know, those sales, both the ICE and the PHEV, yeah. those have really helped push BMW sales up in South Africa. By a lot, like 45% each month. It's huge. They've definitely tapped into something there. For sure. And with that kind of demand, BMW had to ramp up production. I mean, they added a whole third shift at Platt Rosslyn. Really? Wow. Just to keep up. Imagine they're making an average of 110 X3s every single shift. That's a lot of cars. It is. But BMW isn't just, you know, focused on today. They're thinking about the future, too. They've put a ton of money into transforming Platt Rosslyn. How much are we talking? Like R4.2 billion. Wow. That's a serious investment. Yeah. And it's not just about making more cars. Right. It's about what they call future-proofing the plant. I see. New tech upgrading equipment and, most importantly, training their workers. They're getting ready for whatever comes next in car making. That's smart. It's really investing in the people in the future. Exactly. And, you know, a big chunk of that money is going towards, you know, helping workers learn new skills like advanced robotics and software engineering. So they can build. You know? Exactly. It's not just the machines, it's the people who run them. Right. Making sure the employees can handle both the you know, traditional cars and the electric ones. Yeah, they're covering all their bases. That's really thinking ahead. It's not just about making cars. It's about creating a workforce that can keep up with the changes. You know what I mean? Absolutely. It's about sustainability, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. And speaking of sustainability, BMW is really pushing the X3 to be a leader in that area? Yeah, for sure. Both the ICE and the PHEV versions, they're built to meet really strict environmental standards. And you can't forget the impact this is all having on South Africa's economy. I mean, it's huge. It is. It's a win for BMW and a win for South Africa. Exactly. More jobs, not just at the plant itself, but across the whole BMW network in the country. Yeah, the whole ecosystem benefits from the supply chain to the dealerships, the marketing teams, all of it. And on top of that, they're making the X3 for the whole world. Which really puts South Africa on the map as a major player in the car industry. Yeah, it's like a seal of approval for South African manufacturing, you know, showing they can compete with the best of them. But it does make you wonder, with the whole world pushing for electric vehicles, is BMW's approach of offering everything, you know, petrol, diesel, hybrid, electric, smart, or are they spreading themselves too thin? That's a great question. I mean, the future is definitely looking electric, but it's not that simple everywhere, you know, especially in places like South Africa, where charging infrastructure is still catching up. It's not all there yet. Yeah. So by giving people a bunch of options, BMW can reach more customers, meet them wherever they are in terms of, you know, going electric. So it's like a balancing act. They're hedging their bets, but now putting all their eggs in one basket. Exactly. And even in a you know totally electric world, we're still going to need those high-tech batteries and charging stations. The infrastructure. Yeah, and BMW is already putting a lot of money into those areas. So they're really thinking several steps ahead. Yeah, pretty impressive. But going back to South Africa, the success of the X3 there, it's more than just money. You know, I know. Mean? Yeah, for sure. There's a big social impact, too. Because by, you know, investing in workers and promoting these new technologies, they're helping to grow South Africa's industrial sector. It's a win win for everyone involved. It's wild to see how one car, the X3, has had such a massive impact on a huge brand like BMW and a whole country like South Africa. It really shows you how connected the car industry is to the economy, technology and even social progress. It all tied together. You know, speaking of which, there's one more thing I want to touch on about the X3 story. It's really about how South Africa is becoming this like a hub for making cars for the whole world. Right. 
not just their own market, they're exporting everywhere. It's a big deal. You know, it proves that South Africa can really hang with the best in car manufacturing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's huge for their economy. It brings in investment, creates jobs, boosts their tech skills. It's like they're exceeding expectations, you know, showing everyone what they can do. And it's not just how many cars they're making, but how good they are. Definitely. BMW has really high standards, and they're making sure those are met in South Africa. So it's building a reputation for them, like a guarantee of quality. Exactly. And that pays off big time in the long run, makes South Africa more appealing to other car companies too strengthens their place in the global market so what's the takeaway for our listeners i mean if you're thinking about getting a new suv the x3 is worth a serious look oh yeah it's a solid choice well made packed with tech and you've got options for the engine you know whatever fits you needs and if you're interested in the bigger picture the x3 story in south africa is a great example of how the car industry can really boost a whole country it shows what can happen when a company like bmw invests in a place and its people. It's like a reminder that the car industry, it's not just about cars. Right. You know, yeah. it's about innovation. It's global. It's about doing things the right way. And it affects people's lives. For sure. And that brings us to the end of our look at the BMW X3 and its journey in South Africa. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, we covered a lot today. Sales numbers, global economics, the whole nine yards. But we always want to hear from you guys. Yeah, head over to our social media pages and tell us what you think about the X3 BMW strategy or even just the future of cars in South Africa. Until next time, thanks for tuning in to AI Car Talk Show. Keep those engines running and we'll see you on the next episode.